check it up and check it out now. Oh, wow. I guess being hooked on drugs like a fiend ain't just a new nigga thing. Okay. Now, legendary producer Timberland, a uh, old head, you know what I mean? But a guy who definitely is working with the new niggas, so salute to him for that. But pretty much he did an interview in Rolling Stones magazine, and he admitted, man, I almost overdosed my goddamn self. Now, a lot of people, after a little peep, has overdosed, and rest in peace his soul. A lot of people are looking at all the new rappers and say, you fucking drug fiends, y'all have started and y'all are the only ones who are fucking just high off drugs and y'all are overdosing. Now, Timberland is coming out to say, nah, I almost overdosed myself a couple years ago, okay? Now, this is what he said. He said, I was on drugs. I was on Oxycontin. Music is a gift and a curse. Once you ain't popping, it plays with your mind. The pills help me block out the noise. I sleep all day. I remember Jay-Z told me one time, man, don't do no more interviews because I was saying crazy shit. Then he continued to talk about how we almost overdosed. He said, listen, he says, all I could tell you is that there was a light. I woke up trying to catch my breath like I was under motherfucking water, but through that whole thing, I saw life. I saw where I would be if I own chains and where I could be if I did. He also said he thought about Michael Jackson. He didn't want to be old and taking pills. And now he's saying he is focused on giving back. He wants to find the youth of today. And he wants to be 50 and creating a thriller like Quincy Jones did. Now, that's kind of deep. I've always wondered what happened to uh, uh, Timberland. Timberland, I just always thought he was just heavy in the gym, just like Dr. Dre. Timberland one day could be fat as a motherfucker with a pack of Frankfurters or hot dogs, whatever you call it, on the back of his head, straight out the pack. And the next day, this nigga look fit as a motherfucker, muscles popping everywhere. I just always thought the super producers were on steroids. Dr. Dre's the same thing. Dr. Dre would look like he ain't been making a beat. That nigga look like he been beating up some weights or some shit. Most of these producers, we always wonder what the fuck happened to them after their peak, okay? Now, music and really the entertainment business, first of all, I know Timbaland said that music is a gift and a curse, but I think fame and attention is the drug. That's the drug that makes you take other drugs. When you are super popping like Timbaland was and you're getting attention from everybody, you can't miss, you're that nigga, that's an addicting feeling that you want to bottle up and keep for the rest of your life. But unfortunately, you can't. You super can't. So when he's, I don't, don't want to call it fall off, but when his time has came and passed and he's trying to recapture that feeling, yes, he's going to start self-medicating Yes, he's going to start taking a bunch of stuff that's going to influence his mood, influence his tempo, and then he becomes addicted, then he becomes strung out like everybody else. The thing is, it's not only new rappers that are fucking susceptible to being fucking fiends. Anybody could. If you're taking a drug, and I don't care what drug you might think it is, if you take it enough or your body becomes as dependent on it to maintain some type of normalcy, you're going to be addicted to it. So I'm glad he recognized that, and I'm glad he's admitting it. Also, recently, remember Meek Mill admitted that he was hooked on Percocet. He said he's off now. I'm glad that people are realizing that sometimes it's not your regular actions. It's the drug you're on. And for Timbaland to admit this, this is huge. For Meek Mill to admit it when it happened to him, it's huge. I'm hoping some of these newer rappers as well could get to that point, and it doesn't result in an overdose. Again, I think awareness has been brought by Lil Peep's death, and it's very sad to say, but a lot of people are now looking in the mirror and looking to see what they're taking. Are they addicted, or are they only using it for recreational use? So, we'll see what it is, man, but I'm glad for Timbaland. Timbaland's one of my favorite producers. I can't wait to see him, number one, the beat battle, because he says supposed to do a beat battle and also i can't wait for some productions that he has coming out with people like ski master slump god and other young artists i really like that he's not shying away from the youth he's embracing them that's kind of dope get a comment box if you guys like them subscribe to check academics i'm up